Well, there's a new type of drunk in town. It's called the water drunk. It's people getting intoxicated on water. You know, it's like you're out there at the park bench and you got a bag of water in your bag and you're drinking it. Oh, my God. You know, it's like sometimes I drink a glass of water just to surprise my liver, right? So here's a real story. You wouldn't believe this garbage, man. This is getting... Now, tell me tell me the United States is getting really like... Uh, Soviet Union land or something here, or we got bureaucrats that need to have uh, be spanked with uh, spiked paddles or something. But anyway, let me get on with the story, and you'll see if you agree with me or not. This is a this is a little uh, carton thing of Lacroix water. Now, does that look like a like beer? No, it kind of looks like water. It's just pure sparkling water on it, and all this other wonderful stuff. So, uh, looks like these girls went into town. And it got some sparkling water, cookie dough, and ice cream. Oh, boy, you know, he's some group of girls. So, uh, they got the suspecting blue carton of LaCroix sparkling water. And somehow they, these, uh, you know, agents of whoever the hell they are just thought it was an alcoholic beverage, you know, for crying out loud. And uh, so they approached the car. And they showed these unidentifiable badges when they approached us. But we, they became frightened because so they, they didn't see anything in a uniform. So they were like, you know, it could be some fake badges. So she couldn't put the windows down unless she started the car. And uh, they started yelling not to move the car. They got, they, then they tried to break the windows and all this type of stuff. So she couldn't put the windows down unless the car was started. So they were scared. So they took off, and they actually grazed uh, a couple of inches, you know, so they said in the passenger front seat, go, go, go. They thought they were being accosted. So they basically, you know, grazed a couple of the agents with the car by, you know, taking off. So what's the head was freaking water, man. <laughs> so, you know, you know, the deal is, let's pick on these girls. We got something to do. You know, we could write it down, you know, hey, look, we, we, we're busting some, some uh, teenage girls with suspected beverages you know big deal i mean they always take on somebody easy right so uh basically uh daily she's the one who's accused she apologized when she realized who they were uh i wouldn't have been but maybe that's why i'm not going to deal with these jerks if i ever get in a situation uh chap so the agents arrested daily he arrested her charged her with two counts of assaulting a law officer and one count of eluding police uh, each carrying a maximum penalty of five years in prison, $2,500 in fines. So she spent the, the night in jail. Uh, so, none, you know, it turned out, you know, they scared the crap out of these girls. They didn't identify themselves right, so they tried to take off. You know, I mean, how many times is somebody going to show up with, like, a you know, a tin badge to get someplace in the store and say, Oh, stop, I'm going to break your windows in, you know? That'd be a nice way to rip you off, right? And what do you do if you don't run away? And uh, what are the cops going to do? Still, like take your uh, take down a, a report after the guy wastes you or something and steals your money? I mean, come on. So basically, uh, Chapman, who was uh, you know whatever the hell it was in charge of this deal, uh, she said she stood by the agents, decided to file charges, citing faith in the process that yields an appropriate resolution. So we follow the rules. Ooh 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 ooh. Well, you know what the rules say? We don't need cops. How's that? <laughs> I'm serious. You know, if they're going to be like that, we don't need them. They're supposed to protect us, man. This is bullshit. When you got stuff like that, they're not even trying. They're just they're just trying to fill out forms and find something to do that justify their jobs. So you don't know all the facts until you complete the investigation. I'm saying, well, hallelujah. So here you go. Here you got a real hardcore water drunk right here, man, drinking a big old five gallon chug lug and uh you know he's gonna get in trouble someday i mean this is probably one of those moonshine water facilities where they make water from lakes and streams and they put it in bottles and people actually drink it so you know if they get ever find out about this you know they're gonna get in big trouble man you know the water narcs will be coming after him so you know the world is getting crazy so if you can't you can't hang out on a park bench with a bag full of water and drink it because uh, they're going to bust you, man. So, uh, you know, air is air is a poison. Air is a controlled substance. You know, everything's a freaking controlled substance. But, you know, yeah, I know seriously the water isn't illegal. But, damn it, you know what? I mean, if these freaking cops can't figure out that this big blue thing here that has all the waves on it isn't a freaking thing. You ever hear LaCroix beer? 
I mean, with baby blue, with water waves, it's his pure sparkling water. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you know, you know. And then they come up, you know, and tell you the truth, if you're supposed to be that acquiescent to anybody that might be a cop, you just got to weigh in for all the crooks to freaking rip people off because you can just flash some kind of badge you picked up on eBay someplace walking around in plain clothes. Hey, open your window. Oh, thanks. Here's, you know, at a knife point, they'll rip you off, right? And what are the cops going to do? Take a report after this. This is bullshit, man. You know, I don't really have nothing to... Well, sometimes I do have something against cops because these kind of cops looking for an easy target, you know? They probably had three blocks away a bunch of heroin dealers. They don't want to deal with that. Let's go pick on some girls getting some water, right? So there you go. Anyway, this pisses me off, man. So, you know, also I got to say is drink up, pal, you know? What the hell?